Hey, this is Massex with a brand new fairy tale fierce fight video. And I just had to come back around. I did my keeper delete video, so I was gonna keep it. I have kept playing it. I really, really like this game and wanted to kind of show more areas that have opened up now since I've pushed out my account. As well as talk about if you're interested in this game, should you re-roll, what characters you should be focusing on things of that nature. So one of the things is, let's talk about this really fast because we'll just take a second. I don't recommend re-rolling this game. Why? Because the limited banners aren't available to you until after you do a certain amount of rolls, which will take you quite some time to build up that many tickets. And to me, it's more important to get into the game and because Quite honestly, the way the characters work in this game, it's pretty crazy. All of them could go to six stars, which is nice. That doesn't mean that they're the highest rarity. And some of the lower rarity characters are just freaking great. Urza, solid, amazing character. Wendy, which could be one of the best, if not the best SR in the game, the healer. Like I said, <clears throat> Urza is really good. Another solid SR. And the limited banners right now are Guild Arts and Ikaruga. Honestly, to me, neither one of them are must-gets. I really do, I'll have to say, really like Ikaruga. I went ahead and pulled on them just to do some testing. Guild Arts, to me... I can see this character falling off very quickly and being power crept, as well as he is very much a character that is high investment. I almost feel like you have to have him all the way up to six stars and get that last additional passive before he will actually live up to the hype, where Ikaruga isn't the case. Juvia you're getting free in the game and Juvia is really solid But what I like about this game is you have to have other characters built up and so right now I'm working on other characters like you'll see my Elfman's at level 22 Arya's at 21 My Natsu and by the way Natsu at 5 and I'm assuming at 6 is very strong as well as Grey but right now you have to have different, you, you, you can't just have one set of three characters to get through certain areas because you have to be able to shield break and a lot of that is predetermined on the type the character is, if it's light, etc. So, and I like that because it, it, it puts that challenge together. And a lot of these characters you are going to get for free in the game and just by getting your tickets and pulling you're going to get them. It's only the two limited banner characters that you're not going to be able to get and you can't even get them with re-rolling anyway. Like Gajil, you're getting two for free. So highly, highly do not recommend re-rolling this game. Just get in and grind. That's the key. And the other thing is we can see some of the other characters coming and they're either available now or will be coming and that's nice to know because then you can even look at them so you can see what their stat sets are and how they are and so to me you can already see yeah maybe don't worry about the limited banner just worry about grinding up your account because it's going to be more important and talking about that they offer a lot okay your main quest area is really solid really good gameplay with the story and all that but you also have your elite section which goes along with that which is incredibly challenging and what i like is you just have to three star it but there's also and for raid purposes but there's also other subs to it to get more stuff out of it so it encourages you to go back and replay it because maybe this early on in the game you can't hit all the wrecks let's call them but you can still three star it okay so you can at least get those supplies that you need but you can go back and it makes the gameplay still reusable and fun very much big proponent of that the adventure area also follows along with the main story as well as the epic area and certain times you will have to go back because you have to be at a certain point in the adventure area 
to move forward on the other areas. And again, they mix up the gameplay. Sometimes you're just chasing an opponent. Sometimes you're having to dodge through a maze while you're being fired at. Sometimes it's just strictly battles. Really, really, really like the changes in creativity in it. The arena mode we already showed before. I really actually enjoy it for an arena mode. I think it's done very well. Then we talked about last time, there's a fairy tale quiz that you can do uh, your choice, not a requirement, but you can get some currency out of it. But then they have Phantom Invasion, which is gonna give you a lot of the building blocks you need to build your characters up. And it's all by level. So I'm not at level 35 yet, so I'm stopped here. But for quality of life, they allow you to raid those areas once you've completed them, which I absolutely love. In the same with your power crystal area here. Again, same thing, based on level, you can get your supplies, but if you're not at level 35, you're not gonna need those yet. So it makes total sense. And you get 12 runs that you can raid. So if there's one particular color you need more than anything else right now, you could just focus on that. Really like that, think it's very cool. Then you've got Secret Hunt, where you're going after characters. Again, same thing um, by the level, where you're, it's on the train tracks over a bridge. It's actually been very fun to play. Very cool little side portion to it. The content in this is crazy. And one of the other things, and I don't think there's any up right now, but let me check. There's these encounter events that just pop up throughout the day, and they're a great way to get supplies that you need when you can't raid a section anymore because there's a limit, let's say three um, on the elite areas. And you can go in here and run those. I just find that this is a very well thought out game. You can see that it's been around for a bit. Highly, highly like it. And then of course, we've talked about, you've got your tried and true tower here, which I've gotten the 49, I gotta keep working on it. I just haven't had enough time. Uh, again, it's very challenging and very fun. And it has a little bit of a idle component where you're building up. So as you go further, you can have more of your explorers in there to be able to get you more idle earnings, which I love. It's not an idle game, but it has a little bit of that component. You've even got your monster battles, all different types, very cool stuff. I've done all mine today. Didn't think I was gonna do a video, but I figured what the hell, why not? And then you've got another type of tower area. Again, similar thing, boom, boom, boom. But the point is there's so much to do in this game in content wise and the fact that you're allowed to which again i really appreciate build up your characters it doesn't make a difference if they're an ssr plus an sr or rare they can all get to that final six stars and get those passives and things that they need and there are great characters in here again like i said juvia you're getting for free awesome character wendy highly recommend she's a healer and there's not really much healers in this game so she's definitely one to work on um urza was like my um work hound from the get-go i just kind of have slid off using her as much because i've been doing a lot of testing on guild arts but she's solid she's really good you expect that if you watch the show she should be not too in gray once you get the star levels up are definitely good um aria solid solid character and the list goes on you know and uh, and and some characters are better in different areas than other but the key is you're gonna want all the different dynamics um in the game because you're going to need those for shield break as well as other areas and i i really can't say enough i mean i really wish my racer was higher um he's just a speed beast and what little i've messed around with him with this one area of content since he's not leveled up i i just think he's awesome hot eye i have not had much time i just finally pulled him but his skill set is crazy good and speaking of that, when you're building your characters in this game, you've got a couple different things you have to think about. You've got your level, of course, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Then you have Star Up, which is going to, of course, give you more stats and open up um, different passives and other things that can occur. 
Then you have tear up, okay, which of course you got your leader skills that come from here and that can go all the way up to six. I mean, lots of customization on these characters. Your character skills are your next thing down and you're gonna wanna keep putting those up. And as you can see, as you star up more and more of them open up. Like I said, your leader skill, ground anger, just really, really, really a lot going on here. And the gear, like I said, I really like this. They come with their gear, you just level up the gear. So the characters have their gear, you just got to push it if you're using that character. Then one of the new things that opened up is energy um, circle, which allows you also to mess around with your stats and manipulate what you want based on the type of character it is you know maybe you need more physical attack or magic attack etc just just lots of customization here there's also a magic gear area where you can get some more stats i guess you kind of see and i don't even have this area open yet it's you have to be at six stars i don't have any characters at six stars yet i don't think so yeah but again so much customization i love that not all of it's necessary but a lot of it could be marrying on the character you're using but what it does is it allows those lower ranked characters like your srs to be very competitive with the ssr plus or i should say it's just ssr in this game i don't know why i keep saying ssr plus but that's cool because again it's gonna be much easier to build an sr and to get it starred up than it is an SSR. So the fact that you can manipulate stats on all the characters, you can make SRs as good or better than some SSRs. That to me is just absolutely golden. I highly recommend this game. I think the guild area is okay. You'll have boss battles. Um, you'll also have um, guild clashes which I haven't been part of yet but the point of the matter is this game offers a lot if you're a fairy tale fan I think there's no doubt you should give it a shot maybe you won't like it maybe you will but I gotta say it's a lot of fun and I think it's one of the better anime adaptations um, for a gotcha game you know I, I'm a sucker for these things um, with the anime IPs, especially if it's ones I like. But when you find one that's actually a fun game and feels well built, and I think I talked about in the first video about the lagging, that's already gone. That little lagging, which was in between, gone. Haven't even seen it. These guys are working on this game over time to make sure it is living up to what it should, which I appreciate. So hats off to that. So. Let me know if you tried this game out, what your thoughts are. Maybe you care less, but I just wanted to go ahead and go over some more areas that have opened up and stress how good this game is. And I highly recommend it, especially if you're a fairy tale fan. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.